What's up, everybody? I'm Ian. I'm Chris. And we're on Qualified Gaming. Yeah. And this game's a little old. <laughs> I, just a little bit. A little bit. I mean, it's not super old, but it's it's one of those games that we were kind of talking about. It's like, oh, we haven't played this in a while. Yep. It's fun. We think you guys will enjoy watching us suck at it. Uh-huh. I don't know if this is necessarily going to be a series or just a couple like us screwing around having fun with the game. Yeah. Might be a one-off. Might be a series. Yeah. Yes. Or just, we're just, you know, going, going wherever the wind takes us, you know? Yeah. You know. For now, we're just going to play real quick, just go through a few levels. I'm going to start game. Yeah. Uh, this game's so fun. I've, uh, I mean, this is my save profile, so I'm going to skip stuff because the story. There's an yep. asshole. His name's Dr. Fetus. And yeah. I've already cleared some of these levels, obviously, but uh, we're just going to go through them because you guys haven't seen us play. Hooray. We're not that great. No. This is like. This, this, this is platforming on steroids. Oh, yeah. With a little pinch of go fuck yourself. This is pretty much this game. It's it's one of those... I want to say it was one of those first real almost indie games that, that took off on like uh-huh. the console platform and Steam at the same time. Right. Really found an audience pretty quickly. Kind of people... It was it was a cheaper game Oops, that I'm, people could oh get. Oh my gosh, I'm being so bad right now. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I think I think it was also part of like what helped launch Xbox Arcade when that was a thing, where they put like slightly cheaper, more indie type style games on there. But but you know the whole thing was like slightly cheaper price point, with with very like right real quick niche. Okay, I've played okay. these ones and I played five. It is Ian's turn. He's gonna switch. Now that I've killed all the easy ones, <laughs> uh, we're gonna switch off like every five, and if we get stuck on a place, we'll like start switching off. It, yeah, if we die too many times as well. well. And I gotta remember how to play again. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, it's been a while. Um, yeah. So this was like I don't know. This game, oddly enough, while I didn't play this game, I uh-huh. did actually play the game that like came after this from the same creators called okay. Binding of Isaac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that game like crazy, and while really? I don't, I mean. I was not drawn to it at first. Like I, uh, I, I remember people playing it. I wasn't drawn to Binding of Isaac at first because uh-huh. like the guy who's the artist for these obviously likes gruesome kind of gory things. Uh huh. And there it was go. just like not my cup of tea. Right. But I still love. I still I like love Binding of Isaac, and I've played through like so much of it. I've gotten I think all the endings. I don't know, except for maybe some weird like. I don't know, stuff. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I've gotten like a lot of stuff. I played hours and hours of Binding mm-hmm. of Isaac. And um, yeah, it's one of those games. It's like my one of my favorite rogue. Like it, it is basically one of my favorite roguelikes. I play a lot of roguelikes, but uh, I love Binding of Isaac. Fuck. Um, I never got into this game. Like mm-hmm. as you can see, the progress that I made that you guys saw earlier, which is like a little past like this first act. Mm-hmm. That's the furthest I've gotten in this game. This is my you know thing on Steam. Even though we're playing with an Xbox One controller, mm-hmm. to break that illusion that we're awesome keyboard masters. Um, Master Race. Even PC though Master I don't Race. have a real computer, yeah. And <laughs> even if you, even your fake computer's a Mac. Uh, yeah. Whoa! It got very, oh, very geez. um hell in here. This, this is literally hell. <laughs> huh. Woo! Uh, nice. Okay, that's oh. it. Okay, cool. Chris has the controller. I didn't. I wasn't actually counting, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Give us the give us the real count in the oh my gosh I'm not sprinting and it is killing me. I was like freaking out there for a second. But yeah, it's 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 a hard it's a hard platformer. Very. It, it, I mean, it gets very hard. We're not in the hard yeah. part yet, but yeah. No. It, it also it started that kind of thing where it was very much about game mechanic. Like you oh, wanted shit. very solid but slightly simple. Uh, uh, I don't know game. Oh no! Experience or play? I don't, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what word I'm looking for. But but very basic gameplay with a very specific oh. kind of mechanic. With yeah, a, with I a mean, kind of creative art style. Yeah, I mean the world essentially. Oh fuck! I don't know why. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, the. I think the the gaming industry kind of got oversaturated with let's shove as many like features as we can into a game, right? And and then people realized that like oh people are starting to get nostalgia for like the old games that had like three core mechanics and that's mm-hmm. it. You know, mm-hmm. Mario, you jumped and then you jumped some more, <laughs> and then you just avoided getting killed by basic stuff. And it's right. like oh okay, 
I miss those games or like, Mm -hmm. you know, any like, like, you know, original space invaders. It's like Uh you move and you shoot and that's it. I think oversaturated is the right word too, because a, it is like you, you, they, they, they want to simplify the mechanic a little bit, right? Try and Uh try and hit really hit hard on like two or three specific mechanics and like really Woo. polish them like the handling Woo. of super meat boy is amazing like your ability to control the character at the end yes. of the day when something happens uh-huh. you know it's your fault yeah because it's not some sort of like butt input whatever it, it, it was your own damn fault it's not like you dark souls and you're just like wow i was so far away from that hitbox yet i still got hit right but it, it was also an oversaturation souls, of Triple A titles of of Call of Duty, yeah, but not just Call of Duty, but that you know that's the one that it's everybody, the prime example. Yeah, that's the one that everyone to. points to. But but it, it was that that effect of the only games that are being made are these big Triple A titles uh-huh. with a huge budget and huge like focus and, and oversaturated with mechanics ah! and ideas and all this other kind of stuff. When ah! really. You don't need to make a $60 game ah, for it to be successful. Uh huh. Damn it. I, I had it that time. <laughs> you can just kind of create these Fuck. awesome kind of creative pet projects, and they can uh-huh. be super ah. successful. Uh huh. Like, gonna, it's unbelievable the life. after this one. <laughs> uh, no! Oh, almost. Like, the life that Super Meat Boy has is amazing. Like, this thing's been relevant for, what, five, Woo-hoo! six and years? Off. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been relevant for so long. People like yeah. you were even saying like people still speed run this game. Yeah, and it's like so relevant. And uh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to get into the the levels where you realize that we don't really play this game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it. Uh, oh no! Boom. Yeah, I I don't I I mean, there's so much to be said for like indie game. Like okay, so I'm. If people have been following our series, uh, but if not, then this is like the first time seeing us. Hi, welcome. We love you. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm a game programmer. It's what I do. And obviously, you'll find this of any game programmer or game designer. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You'll find this of any game programmer or game designer. Everyone wants to make their own game. And making indie games used to be like this thing like, oh my gosh, it's like it's almost awesome. impossible. But then tools like uh, there's no so many tools, Unreal, Unity, uh, all these things for game developers that really don't have the resources that AAA studios have can use to make a game. Mm-hmm. You don't even need like Unity and Unreal. Some people just make them from scratch. It's like oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but just the idea that some like games like this that are like more memorable and are still played long after the the same Call of Duty game that came out in the same year this did. No one cares about that one because Call of Duty is like this interchangeable, like, nonsense where... Oh, (laughs) shit! (laughs) Nice! But Call of Duty, I mean, I used to play Call of Duty all the time. I love it. Um, I loved it when I used to play it, but, like, oh oh my gosh. Um, It's interchangeable. As soon as the next one comes out, most people move on to the next one, you know? Right. Like, my nostalgia sits with, like, the original Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare, and I love that game, and, I, oh, Oh, ouch. God. Okay, well, this is probably the first one where we switch off halfway through. <laughs> um, Fuck. But, yeah, Call of Duty, like, 4, Modern Warfare. I used to love that game, and, uh, you didn't dedicate. <laughs> you didn't commit. Um, I don't know, it was just, like, one of the first games that I truly like loved and played and then i never really cared for any of the call of duties that came afterwards like they all just kind of like oh i see you've got a cookie cutter formula now that probably was mostly based off modern warfare and it's just moral of the story that i'm trying to get to Mm -hmm. is that indie games have opened this new like can of worms that just wasn't there before you know it's like you didn't used to, you know, you used to only have AAA Woo! games that were like these awesome big titles that you'll pay tons of money for. Right. Uh, you want to do the boss? Uh, no, you do the boss. Okay, I'll do the boss. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm going to keep rambling on, but like the the whole indie industry has gotten so big lately that it's great. Oh, I, I forget. Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah, and just, just the, the, 
I, I, one of the great things, I mean, wow. I mean, as much as we get closer to Orson Welles, you know, doomsday and all this <laughs> other kind of stuff with our technology advancements, one of the other great things, though, is that a lot of creative people have more of an opportunity ah! to make awesome things. Like, it's the same thing with, like... Ah, oh, shit. Indie movies, indie games. Like, the, the, like, this whole proliferation of technology allows more creative people to get into a market and find audiences that will enjoy this type of stuff. And I think I think that's actually a good thing because then we get things like Super Oh Meat no. Boy yeah. And, and other awesome creative projects. Yeah. I uh 100% agree that I, I yeah, I do absolutely love like I said with like Unity and Unreal. It's great that like these engines are like here's like a oh fuck. Rip. Here's like a triple A like tool in your mm-hmm. hand. Mhm. So that you can basically by yourself make a game. And like, it's also, okay, maybe not the best example of like innovative indie games, Mm -hmm. but more an example of the success you could have with indie games is Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. But to be fair, to be fair, I will give this, I've I've always said this in anything. I'm never going to fault somebody for wanting to make money. Oh, of course not. Especially as long as they aren't harming somebody else or, or taking advantage of somebody else. So, well, good luck finding that in the world. <laughs> I know, but 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 I here's know. the thing: like like look at the Five Nights at Freddy's guy. It was some yeah. dude who had a creative idea and made a very ah! popular game. Fuck! Yeah, that blew up online, and then he keeps making these. But he also like donates money to charity. Uh, beside the point, I don't I don't need to I don't mean to evangelize the the creative oh! or anything like that. But right. It's cool that something so simple could be so popular that actually looks legit, looks fun, yeah. and a lot of people enjoyed. Like, still, one of the scariest things in any game <laughs> that I've ever watched is when the fucking fox starts running down, oh, the, down hall the hallway in Freddy 1. Yeah. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, especially when you, like, are used to, like, everything not moving. Yeah. And then he just throws that new element at you. Oh, my God. Ah! Fuck ah. that noise. The first time I saw that, I'm like, what the shit? Yeah. They Fuck! can move? <laughs> it was unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, God, this is already pissing me off. Shit. <laughs> also, because I'm trying to, like, listen to you at the same time, so... Yeah, that's the hard part. Uh, talking and playing video games is so hard. <laughs> My life. What have I done? <laughs> ah, fuck! Um, I'm going to hand this off pretty soon. Okay. Um, I believe in you, Chris. You can do it. Uh, what, 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 are, what are those? Like, meat squirrels? I don't understand what they I, are. Uh, fuck. Fuck! Now you got it. Don't worry about it. Look at you, champing. Fuck! Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that first jump. It's like when I was doing John's freaking uh, Mario levels. Oh yeah, and like you get really, really far, and then you fuck up, and then you can't get over the first jump for like the next like two minutes. Oh! Like, oh my gosh, I just ran through that, but okay. I'll like a boss. Fuck! No. Uh. G- uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> you can do it, Chris. Yeah. So anyways, I, I use the Five Nights at Freddy's as an example just because, like, the guy was wildly successful, but it's not like he did it for money. I can't imagine he is like, oh, yeah, this simple game idea is going to make so much money. Right. I feel like he made a game that he wanted to make, and he did something that he loved doing, mm-hmm. and he happened to be wildly successful. Like, there are many AAA titles that wish they were as successful as Five Nights at Freddy's or as, right. like, as culturally relevant. Fuck! <laughs> Well, but, you know... Uh, I could probably just jump through this, like, eh. Even yeah. again, l- look at people like Notch, who created Minecraft. Yeah. Like, it was just... It was a dude who started an idea and then got a team behind him. Very basic mechanics, very basic gameplay. Super interesting. Oh, and then it- no! Oh, no. But that's all it takes. It's just a little spark of ingenuity, a little creativity, and and... and the fact that we have these tools now where these types of people can make themselves yeah. with, with, with their ideas is awesome. Oh, no. Oh, this game. <laughs> uh, you can do it, Chris. I don't like it. Oh, I you don't do like, like it. it. Yes, you do. No, I don't, no, like, I don't it. like it. Oh, it's not nice to me. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that might be death. No, no. Oh, hey, right. you did it. Good job. Yay! I thought I had to jump up there, but I guess I didn't. I mean, maybe, but you still did it. Fuck you, Dr. Fetus. 
And what a random fucking enemy Dr. Fetus. Yeah, but I he's not like that. he's not like he's like a fetus in like a in a in like a Right. Like a, a container. Yeah. He's like he's a test tube baby. <laughs> oh, God. Why is Dr. Fetus so mad? No. Aw. Like four squirrels. <laughs> oh my god. I just it's just a head. Yeah. Rip squirrel. Rip all the squirrels. <sighs> but yeah, so it's great. And if you ever, you know, <laughs> now more than ever, it's a great time for people to like actually live their dreams of mm-hmm. like a lot of people. Oh God. A lot of people Brutal. always like to do the whole thing where it's like, oh, you know, I want to make video games when I get older. It's right. like, that's such a, like, there's so many tools out there now. There's like places like Code Academy if you want to become a programmer. There's st- hundreds of people doing art tutorials mm-hmm. for 3D and 2D art. Uh-huh. And it's like, the lovely thing is like, you can make a game like this. No 3D mm-hmm. art required. Mm-hmm. It's like 2D art. Do it. And it's like games that have pixel art. Are coming right. back. Oh yeah, thirty-two like bit and even like sixteen bit are coming back so strong. Even like right. I think like even eight bit. Some games like still do eight bit. It's like ridiculous, and it's like all that matters is if you have great ideas mm-hmm. and ideas that like these AAA companies wouldn't approve of because they're like, there's no way we're gonna make a horror game about animatronics who are still and then when you're not looking at them they move who cares that sounds like such a boring idea right but then now it's a huge thing and they all wish they had done that right because there's people who aren't paid to do this kind of crap that that can just fulfill their dreams and if you don't get paid a ton of money like five mm-hmm. nights of freddy's mm-hmm. it's still a still a a thing that you know you can just make a game and even just making a game is so fulfilling i can say it personally i've made a lot of games now mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. some personal games and a lot of professional games and it's just so fulfilling to be part of a team that makes a big game or be by yourself that makes a small game it's just fulfilling you're just like wow i made this right even if nobody you know pays for it and everyone just enjoys it for mm-hmm. what it is mm-hmm. it's still great okay that's my rant um i hope you guys enjoyed uh, us dying multiple times that's probably gonna be it for now if uh we might decide to come back and do more later who knows? Oh, I fucking love this game. I I, I can play this yeah. game all day. It's awesome. Yeah, I can play this game all day too. I feel like there's a wall that will definitely hit if we yes. kept playing it, and it's probably yes. in this next chapter. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. Well, we'll see you guys uh, next time, and we might play more of this later. Yeah, maybe. Okay, bye. Bye.